Buenos dias, muchachos y muchachas. Take a look at that view. I've come out to the outskirts of the pass to go and try and look for something called Valle de las Animas. It's supposed to be this valley with all these rock formations as you see here. But I'm not quite in the right spot. I was, I was dropped off by the minibus just over by the road over there. And he told me, just go up those hills and you'll find that uh, valley. But it seems to be harder than I just thought <laughs> initially. But what a view. Absolutely spectacular views here. There you have Ilimani, this mountain here. That's the mountain you can see from downtown. La Paz itself is down here behind me. Out there. That is La Paz itself. So that's where we've come from. Up to the hills, to these villages over there. And this is where you have the mountain starting. And as you can see those, even though I'm lost here, <laughs> The rock formations are phenomenal. It looks like like Valle de las Animas is supposed to be the the valley of the spirits. So yeah, it looks basically like something out of Mars. Or the moon or something like that. Probably the moon more so. It is spectacular here. So I think I found the right track now. I was over there on that hill over there behind me just before came down back down to the road and walked up over here on the other side Ilimani is still over there in the background behind me looking beautiful I'm walking in here between some fields I don't know what sort of stuff they are farming here It looks like, it looks like hay to me, or wheat maybe, I'm not sure, but I think I'm on the right track now. Let's get to the top up here and see what's going on. We're looking for the mountain top up there. Excuse the wind, because it is quite windy today. Well, up here because we're up in the up in the hills up in the mountains So here we see the The finished article Here I'm on a field Like the one I was on just before and here is the finished article drying up in the Sun and as I was saying, as I was speculating, I think it was hay. And this very much looked like, looked like hay. Wheat, sorry, I should say. Wheat, obviously to make, to make bread. So that's what they grow up here. Can you imagine having this as your field? This as your view. And they're probably chopping this with with the nag, uh, what do you call it? Um, a sleigh thing, uh, what do you call that thing? An axe, so what's it called? The one that farmers used to use back in the day for um, for chopping, you know, you chop it down there at the bottom, like with a, with a knife, basically, a massive knife. That name has escaped me. Leave a comment below what the name is, what I'm thinking of, but you know what I mean. And yeah. Here's the finished crop, drying up in the sun, waiting for the for the farmer to come back up into the fields and bring his crops back down, mold it and make flour so he can sell his flour, make bread, whatever. Maybe he has a bakery as well. And then look over here, just on the other side of his little field. We're starting to get a view into that valley. I think I'm definitely on the right, on the right track here. Let's get up here so we can see. Oh yeah, this is much more like it. 
much more like it. There's a church down there. That's the valley. You could get an idea here. It has to be here. I think I'm on the right track. And another view of Irimani. Spectacular. That's proper farming for you there. I think we're getting close to the to the top before we can drop into the valley up there. Over there. I think we have the top here, the road goes around, or the trail goes around. I'm pretty sure that we're coming to it, cause, cause take a look at this, like. Wow. Look here. That is spectacular. The way the sun is striking down on top of those creating shadows. It's kind of like a golden light in there. That is phenomenal. That is like something out of the moon. Look at that. Maybe if I raise it up a bit more. Wow. That is absolutely phenomenal. I've never seen anything like this before. Okay, so we have finally reached the top of the valley, it seems like here. Look at all those rock formations. This is very beautiful. We obviously have one example right here behind me of these just towers of dirt. We obviously have one right here as well. It's quite basically clay and and small stones, as you can see. As far as I was able to find out, the the valley here, the rock form, or the, these formations, that basically looks like what's it called, an organ, or what do you call it in English, the the piano thing at the uh, at the at the churches. That's basically what these formations remind me of when they're close together. The sections that are close together. The other ones, looks like, I don't know what to, what to describe it as. I think the closest I can think of is something like the, the Easter Islands, the images that you've seen, that I've seen from there. The, the sculptures of those rocks, like it kind of looks like similar to that, like how they just get each rock just kind of stands there independently you could imagine that being a person or sculpture of a person if you use your imagination apparently that's where the name comes from as far as I was able to find out as well the animas that's basically this wind that is rocketing around here whenever you're a bit more exposed um, basically is a voice of the or the song of the animas of the people and the people the representation of the people of the spirits are these rock formations here like look at that it makes sense when you hear that racketing of the of the wind in my in my ears sure the the microphone is picking up some of that wind as well you can imagine that that's where all the pan flutes instruments all the wind instruments comes from here in the andean region as well of walking in the mountains in the andean mountains getting hit by that wind constantly that's what that pan flute symbolizes 
With that said, take a look at that view. I'm gonna shut up for a moment and just let you enjoy. Hola. So I found company all of a sudden. A dark has suddenly appeared behind behind me. Just came up and started sniffing me. So yeah, this is my new friend. He's going to guide me along the trail. But look at it there. The valley itself. It is stunning from here. You can get an idea. You can see that line going through. That probably would have been a glacier line of some sort, I imagine, back in the day. Up here behind me, you see more of the of those rock formations. Um, over here as well, over there. It is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Mate. And those lines. Yeah, and listen to that wind roaring. That's what I was talking about just before. That's apparently the the idea behind um, behind the name, or the the reason behind the name, the Valle de las Animas. That these rock formations symbolizes people, and this wind is the song of the people. Okay, so here, on this rock that we see here, that line right there, maybe we should go a little bit closer. But basically, this line here, where it changes color, goes slightly redly, that is the same line that goes across over there. That is fascinating to me. So this, Obviously, this will be the border of something. Like, as I was saying before, I think, I think, I guess, that that would have been like the line for the, the glacier that apparently was here back in the day. And it's the reason for uh, the glacier that was here thousands and thousands of years ago. And that glacier is the reason for the, the formation of all these fantastic towers that just stand there. What does this one look like? I don't know. The hat of the Pope, maybe? Something like that. Looks a bit like the hat of the Pope, doesn't it? Yeah, that'll do for me. It's crazy to think about, you know, the flow of time, the, the ice and the heat of the planet over thousands and thousands and well millions of years that this planet has been living but how things like this have been formed of ice expanding and retreating and expanding and retreating ice periods and heat waves going back and forth and creating these fantastic formations it just makes you wonder what was the what must the moon look like? I imagine it's something like this. What do you say? What do you say? Osito. Which way? I mean, he's not the most talkative dog. Hopefully, He'll be able to show us the way. Let's go and see up here. If there is an actual way this way. Yeah, there is. We can come around here. And that way. Over to the valley. Look at that. It's opening up. It's getting even bigger over there. All right, the wind is quite bad here. So. I'll just turn it off here, we'll pick it up when we come over here to the ridge. Finally, the dog is starting to do some guide work. 
beautiful. Then I'm no longer gonna be lost up here. He's showing the way. Look at him. He's racing ahead over there. Finally. And yeah, now we're just out of the wind a little bit and we're coming, coming towards the, the ridge over there. And it looks like it's gonna be a phenomenal view coming around that way. That is, that is the photos I think that I've seen from this place before the the bare amount of <laughs> of research that I apparently did coming into this area coming into this adventure coming into this hike because yeah I should, <laughs> it seems like I'm finally on track for what I actually wanted to see but, but wow certainly found it and it is stunning what we've already been walking through the first part of the Valle de las Animas. This is a longer trail, I guess, because it is a trail going completely beautifully around the ridge. So I'm not too lost, but let's see what little Osito is taking me now. He's walking over there. Can you see him? He's probably hiding in the grass for you in the camera. <laughs> What a nice dog by now. Osito, super chill. Shows the way. Osito earns his prize here. Yeah. Earns a lunch once we get back down to town. That's for sure. All right. He's starting to go up the hill here. Let's see, where are we going, Osito? Is it that way? Not that way. Are you sure? Is it this way or is it that way? Let's, let's follow the dog. This looks more like a trail over this way as well. Oh, have some manners, will you? Wow. Look at this now. Now you can see that image of the organ that I was talking about from the um, from the churches this is spectacular look at those views Whew. beautiful and it's just going straight down there that is really 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 beautiful Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Take a look at that. What? How is that even legal? My God, that's beautiful. I don't really know what else to say <laughs> other than wow, that is beautiful. Like, that is, that really looks to me like something out of the moon. But how in hell do I get down there? that echo <laughs> beautiful look at that Woo that's why we go here now I think we have to find some way down. I'm not sure I can actually get down into the valley itself. I think this is just to watch this trail that I'm on. It's just to watch it from above. But 
what a view it is. So I'll be able to actually show you whilst speaking the walls here. Look at those, we're up closer now. This is what I'm saying. Look at that, it's like every pillar. It is phenomenal. Just that ridge, countless of ridges all the way over. Basically, yeah, as I was saying before, what this reminds me the most is, I should probably stay down for the wind. What this reminds me the most is of those organs in the churches that basically these I think it's organ that they're called, right? That the bees pianos in the churches. Each one of these, like, just imagine a little priest sitting down there playing his song or a choir boy or whoever plays those songs in the church. Spectacular view. Now the city itself is closer out there as well. But man, that dog was a lifesaver. Osito, he really made us get a much better trip here. Took us to the viewpoint, it turns out the walk I was on is basically to go around and watch the valley from the top. Instead of, there's a track down in the bottom, there's basically a riverbed in the bottom down there. But it turns out the trail that I've ended up on is a trail with a viewpoint going across the ridge up here. Uh, inside the valley itself but on the top so yeah come to that random little mountain pass with a mini bus that says Valle de las Animas and you'll find this beautiful am I filming? It seems like I am Yes, I am. All right, so we have finally made it down. I finally made it down here. What an end to a trek that was. <laughs> Basically come down surfaces like this with the trail getting lost in that grass that you see on the hills. Just complete hidden. At least the dog was able to show me some of the way. And then I was using um, my map, Maps Me, if you know that application. A lifesaver if, you, if you're traveling. It has all, uh, lots and lots and lots of trails uh, and all sorts of info anywhere in the world. That trail was on Maps Me, so I opened the app to find my way out of this <laughs> of this trail with the help of the dog and my map I was able to do it and yeah here we go we're back down first houses on the outskirts of La Paz their water tank and now we're coming out to the road out here so now we're just gonna catch you a mini bus back to back to the center of the town get myself a beer a burger and then yeah i think we'll end the video here i don't think there's going to be much more of interest to uh, to happen now we're just going to wait for the cars to come by i see a shop down here maybe i can pick up some water but otherwise if nothing more happens, I'll end the video here. All right, so I thought I would just show you the minibuses. Coming out or going through Old Town. You just, this guy has his route from right where this track finishes to all the way to the other end of town up in nearby the bus station. Basically, you just go out to the road and you just wave your hand like that and he stops as you can hear he's beeping to tell people that he's coming once he's full obviously he can't take any more and each ride is 
two, uh, two Bolivianos and 20 cents and in the night two Bolivianos and 60 cents so basically what's that that is like 30 40 cents you see here's a lady coming in she's just waving her hand opening the door coming in with her kid there close the door and when you leave you pay and according to your distance that's how far and uh, that's how much you'll pay all right with that said now i'm headed back to the center of the town i'm gonna get myself a beer maybe a burger something to eat anyways and then i'm gonna end the video here thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one